In most post-production studios these days, there's usually a small reference monitor, typically the Sony X300 or HX310, accompanied by a larger client reference monitor, for example, a consumer OLED television up to 77 inches which has been calibrated to match the Hero monitor as closely as possible. But if you are a colorist needing an even larger screen to QC your work, then ASUS has you covered, because the company has unveiled its massive 135-inch ProArt Cinema PQ07 display based upon micro-LED technology. Unlike mini-LED technology which is more common among consumer TVs, micro-LED is self-emissive, which means every pixel can be switched on and off independently of each other, allowing for insanely high contrast. ASUS has rated the contrast ratio of the PQ07 at 1 million to 1. HDR peak brightness could reach 2000 nits, and because of micro-LED's modular nature, this is not limited to only a small size, but can be applied to the entire screen, providing an unrestricted canvas for video professionals to view their work in HDR without experiencing ABL or automatic brightness limiter. The ASUS PQ07 will cover 95% of DCI-P3 color space, and the 135-inch prototype here is 3840x3160 in resolution, with a pixel pitch of 0.7815mm, smaller than most conventional micro-LED displays. As hinted earlier, one unique selling point of micro-LED technology is its modularity, and the ASUS PQ07 can be customized to different screen sizes and aspect ratios to meet the specific needs and preferences of the user, be it for professional video quality check, virtual production, broadcast, or even as a home cinema display. Do not expect the screen to come cheap though. ASUS has quoted a price of $200,000 for this 135-inch model, even though the cost of micro-LED has come down in recent years, such that you can buy a 76-inch Samsung micro-LED TV for merely £50,000. If you don't have this amount of money to spare, ASUS also showcased several more affordable ProArt monitors at its IBC booth in Amsterdam, one of which is the ProArt Display PA32UCXR. It's a 32-inch mini-LED monitor with 2,304 local dimming zones, double the zone count of the previous model PA32UCX. ASUS has also reshaped the light distribution of each mini-LED to suffer from less scattering, therefore resulting in less blooming artifacts. The new PA32UCXR is capable of reaching 1,600 nits of peak brightness and 1,000 nits of sustained brightness, earning the monitor Visa's Display HDR 1400 certification. The 10-bit IPS LCD panel covers 97% of DCI-P3 color space, with ASUS implementing multiple measures to achieve the highest level of color accuracy. Delta E is spec to be less than 1 from factory calibration, and on top of that, there's a built-in motorized flip colorimeter that supports self-auto calibration, taking the hassle out of recalibration and making it easier to recheck the monitor's color accuracy as time passes. Besides, the ASUS PA32UCXR is compatible with the company's own ProArt hardware calibration, not to mention 3D light calibration with Kalman and Colorspace. HDR formats supported include standard HDR10, HLG or Hybrid Log Gamma, and Dolby Vision. The monitor is equipped with dual Thunderbolt 4 ports which can transmit signal, data, and 90 watts of power delivery, and one DisplayPort 1.4. Note that the Dolby Vision support ProArt hardware calibration, as well as Kalman and Colorspace integration will be added via firmware update by the fourth quarter of 2023. If you prefer an OLED monitor, ASUS also unveiled the ProArt PA37DCEK which uses a 26.9-inch JOLED panel with pure RGB subpixel structure, true 10-bit color depth, a UHD resolution of 3840x3160, and 99% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage. OLED is self-emissive, resulting in true blacks and insanely high contrast ratio which has been quoted at 1 million to 1 by ASUS. HDR10 and HLG formats are supported, with class-leading color accuracy of less than 1 delta E from factory calibration, bolstered by ASUS ProArt hardware calibration technology. The company is even including an x i i1 DisplayPro colorimeter with the monitor. Connections include one full-function USB-C port, one DisplayPort 1.4, and three HDMI 2.0 inputs. Due to its smaller pixel aperture ratio, the peak brightness of the ASUS PA27DCEK will be lower than that on the larger 32-inch ProArt PA32DC. But what impresses me so much about the JOLED panel is its class-leading luminous stability, 
As I've demonstrated in my review video of the ASUS P832DC, you can watch by clicking here.